Hi, Ryan Scott here representing IMI Sensors bringing you tips from techs. If you're responsible for cooling towers, then you're responsible for keeping those cooling towers running. That's why we're going to talk about vibration switches. So let's go. Any vibration switch can play an important role in protecting your cooling towers. But which switch will work best for you? The basic form of vibration switch is a mechanical switch. The mechanical switch will trip an alarm or shut down your machinery when it experiences excessive vibration. They do have their faults though. It is difficult to accurately adjust these switches and in the time of need they could fail you and you could have catastrophic failure. You don't want that. Here at IMI Sensors we've evolved and created a new mechanical switch called the Linear Adjust Mechanical Switch. This allows for easier adjustment and provides better protection to your critical assets. And with a similar price point as the basic mechanical switch, it renders the basic mechanical switch and any switch like it obsolete. So we'll just get rid of that. For those of you looking to upgrade your vibration switches, IMI Sensors has an electronic switch and a smart programmable switch. Both the electronic switch and the smart programmable switch feature time delays, which eliminates false trips. With the basic mechanical switch or the linear adjust switch, you don't get that feature. And so much as a train rolling by or a strong burst of thunder can give you a false trip, which can be so annoying. Electronic switches have more capabilities than mechanical switches. The electronic switch has its own internal piezo accelerometer. It also has four pods which can be used to adjust your set points, located right here. It responds to velocity and acceleration and has a 4 to 20 milliamp output, making it easy to connect to your PLC. It can provide analog vibration data for your fault analysis. It is also a little bit smaller than the mechanical switch, making it a little bit easier to mount. For you, the benefits could far outweigh the cost with this switch. And it is also the only electronic switch on the market that allows you to perform a self-test with your desired alert and alarm trip points. Pretty good feature. Let's move on to IMI Sensor's Smart Programmable Switch. This switch has more ability than the mechanical switch, but is less expensive than the electronic switch. It's kind of like a soup that's uh, not too hot, not too cold. It's the best of both worlds. Like the electronic switch, it comes with its own internal piezoelectric accelerometer. Using USB connectivity and programming software makes setup for this switch as easy as writing up a Word document on your computer. The smart switch does not have screw and style pots like the electronic switch. It is all programmed in your computer, which means you get more reliable and more consistent set points. Vibration limits can be programmed in units of velocity, and its two wire operation makes it easier than any other switch to replace on the market. Smart switch, wire to your PLC, good to go. Last but certainly not least, our smart switches meet the broadband vibration limits set in the new CTI standard for vibration limits in water cooling towers. Yes, it's pretty awesome. So well, there you have it, a short summary of vibration switches and the ones that I and my sensors sell. If you'd like to learn more information about these switches, please visit imi-sensors.com. Well, that's all from Tips from the Techs. We'll see you next time. So long.